K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Another look outside on our sky cam clear skies which allowed our temps to reach their fullest potential today and in a way the wind <laughs> helped our wind reach their strongest gusts as well. We'll talk about that in just a bit sort of the connection between the two and how long this connection will stick around. You see when you've got the full on sun like we have today it warms that air at the surface quickly. Hot air we know likes to rise and when it does it creates a void at the surface so then the strong winds of the jet stream mix down to the surface where we're at and all of a sudden we start feeling some of those stronger gusts. Now right now at Tucson's airport the wind not really an issue just at 10 miles per hour but earlier we did have some peak gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range in Tucson we have that now in Oracle 22 in Wilcox and the wind will be even stronger for us tomorrow as we continue to warm up 78 are high in Tucson and cells today 73 no Gallus upper 60s though for Wilcox so that 78 degrees right in line with our average and check this out our morning low also right at the average so this was was just about as perfect of a day as it gets, not my opinion, just according to our 30 year average temperature perspective. And our warming trend again still uh, pretty strong here as our high pressure continues to build across the southwest. Overnight, our skies will stay clear as a result of the sinking air bringing uh, with that high pressure. 53 degrees for us in Tucson tomorrow, up to 80. Lots of sunshine, and again, those gusting winds will return up to 26 miles per hour in the Valley, but Mount Lemon, wow, prepare for wind gusts in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range for you. Our highs tomorrow still sticking around that 80 degree mark in Marana and Tucson. Near 70 degrees though for Benson and Douglas, 67 Bisbee, 79 Green Valley and 78 for Oral Valley. So we got a little bit of a game going on here on Saturday, right? Our Wildcats kicking off at 6 o'clock. Mostly clear wind won't be an issue for the game. In fact, the wind anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour from the east, that is it. We are not expecting these gusts to continue beyond Thursday. So some good news there. And when we're celebrating our Wildcat victory after the game, mostly clear skies and 65 degrees for that. Jump ahead to Sunday now. We have our All Souls procession. If you're going to be walking, uh, lots of folks start to gather around 4 o'clock. 84 at that time, down to 81 for the start around 6 o'clock. And then for the finale, 76 at 9 p.m. with clear skies. A look now at the seven-day forecast, staying right around that 80 degree mark the next two days and then warming to 84 for our weekend. And you know what, guys? We're talking about the 80s. We are so spoiled. Check this out. Grand Forks, North Dakota has seen some snow so far this morning. A little dusting there, as well as in the Twin Cities. Minnesota. They've seen kind of a mixture of some snow and rain today and some northwesterly winds overnight there will push in some super cold air, dropping them down to the teens by mm. tomorrow morning. So we can't complain about our weather or the um, wind. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Put it into perspective for us. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> and uh, the pecan harvest is this Saturday from 9 to 5 p.m. Bring your family. Have fun.